We got Alvin Morales back here on the program. He's coming off an impressive win this past weekend over Carlos Puente Jr. at CXF 17. Albert, what's going on, man? How are you? Man, I'm feeling amazing. Right now I'm cleaning the garage. That's what that's the scenery back there. <laughs> uh, I have a couple of days uh, uh, to kind of chill a little bit. So going to clean up and then get, well, I'm still training, but like, you know, not as, not as crazy right now. Yeah, well, uh, congratulations on the win, man. Uh, it's so great to see you back in the win column. Uh, just, you know, right off the bat, how much weight is lifted off your shoulders? I know it's been a rough go the last couple of fights, but to get your hand raised on Saturday must have been pretty damn good. Yeah, man. Um, best fight ever. Best night I've had so far as far as an MMA fighter for multiple reasons, man. I had so much love in the room. Not that I don't have, like, love every other fight, but just this fight was just different, man. I really needed that. Um, I finally started working with a new head coach. Um, the team that I have around me, just I just I just feel like everybody that's in my corner is really in my corner, and and it feels so freaking good. Yeah, I did notice that on social media, a lot of people rooting for you. Uh, it seemed like you had a lot of people out there. How many people were at the fights? Because it seemed like you know your teammates and friends and everything it seemed like it was a great turnout. Oh, it was there. There, I know for sure. I sold uh, uh, my 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 fifty. T- I've sold fifty plus tickets. That was for sure. But then. All the fighters that came in, you know how they get in there and all. You know, there's just so many people, people that bought tickets off of other people. At the, towards the end of the night, I still had a, a good amount of people there just waiting to see me fight. So it was really cool. And like you said, social media was blowing up. My DMs, I'm still going through them right now, trying to hit up everybody and thanking them for the love. So it's yeah. crazy, man. It's awesome. that's a, yeah, that's great. Uh, let's talk about the fight, though. Um, game plan, what was it heading into the fight, and do you feel like you executed it? Definitely, man. The the game plan was to stay calm, like to stay calm. Like I train with the best guys in the world and, 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 and my coaches and my teammates see me train with them and they see how I perform when I'm relaxed and chill. And so that was the whole thing, man. I was I just had to go in there and just be calm and then see whatever happens, happens, man. I, I'm well-rounded enough that anywhere it goes, I should be able to handle myself, you know. So as long as I stay relaxed, I don't get myself thrown into bad positions, then I should I should be fine. And it, it, it happened exactly the way it was supposed to. And you fought a tough guy in Carlos Puente Jr. He's an LFA vet. He's one of Cub Swanson's main training partners. Um, was there anything about him in this matchup that surprised you at all? Oh, no. I knew he was going to be tough. Mm-hmm. I knew it was, The only thing that surprised me is that I got lucky. Uh, not lucky, but th- that I was able to execute that, that rear naked choke at the end. Um, I, honestly, like... The first couple of times, like I threw a couple of them at his head. Um, and they weren't meant to finish him. They were just meant to like, kind of beat him up a little bit because I knew how tough he was. Um, I was expecting to go 15 minutes because I knew he uh, he's a very scrappy guy, and I felt it in him. I felt him. Um, I was just really, really on point. I think it was just my night. But he's, he, he, I felt every inch of like toughness on him. He's a beast. He, I have nothing but respect for him. And I know I'll see him in the future. And, you know, he's a beast. How did you celebrate after the win? Oh, man. First, I went to go give all the love to everybody, man. Like, uh, everybody, everybody, man. Uh, and then after that, we headed over to Dave and & Buster's and, 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 you know, had, had some fun drinking. Uh, what, what goes on in Dave & Buster's stays in Dave & Buster's, but we had fun for sure. That's excellent. And, uh, what you know, you talked about the feedback and all that. Was there, was there anyone that reached out to you that you didn't expect, that, you know, gave you some props that you're like, wow, I didn't expect that? Was there anyone that sort of stood out in that regard? No, man. Everybody, like, dude, like, like, see, the thing is, I've had it forever. I, just, I don't know why this fight was just different. Like, this fight, I just felt happy walking out. Um, but no, man, like, like, Brett Johns, my boy, like, he hits me up after every fight, win, lose, or draw. Same thing with Manny Bermudez. Same thing with Benito Lopez. Everybody that I fought hits me up, man. Um, I get love from like 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 maybe not this fight, you know what I mean? Like everybody shows me love, so like like I, there's nobody that I was really surprised um, because I'm just always getting love, anyways, man. Thank God I'm blessed like that. Um, but I've had times where like you know my Kamaru, the current champ, he's hit me up before, and hit, you know he's been my friend since uh, since we fought together in Brazil. So when he hit me up, that was kind of a surprise. But this fight, no man, just everybody just kind of. Yeah, I just felt the love for sure. No, no, that that's excellent. Um, and uh, as as far as uh, you know, recovery, I know that's important after the fight. What are you using right now? What's healing up those bumps and bruises this week? Um, luckily there isn't too many, man. I I, I actually had a little toe injury beforehand, but what's helping me out is um, 
I definitely still take my Terp House CBD. You know what I mean? I have my little tinctures. That's the sh- that's the stuff that works the best for injuries, at least in my case, man. The rub is cool because the rub kind of just kind of – you can kind of get that pain away right then and there. But as soon as I start taking the drops, it takes a little bit more time. But then I, I, start, I stop feeling pain and stuff like that as far as, like, inflammation and stuff like that. Um, this toe, for some reason, isn't going down, though, man. It's been numb for, like, three weeks. It's driving me crazy. Um and it feels like it keeps getting fatter, so I might have to chill out. Hopefully, these rest days will help it out. Um, and then the biggest thing for recovery, guys, I, I, I've actually started working with a, a guy named Coach Ron um, from Synergistic Energy, and we we do a bunch of kind of top secret stuff. That I, it's 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 uh, I'm pretty sure he would want me to explain it, but I can't explain it because it's so freaking complex for me to understand. Um, but next time. We've only been working for a month, so maybe next time we talk, I, I can kind of get, get you guys more details on that stuff. But definitely recovery is a big part of my freaking crew, especially with my strength and conditioning coach, Coach Coop. He's got me doing cryos and heat and cryos and heat and messing with the so right, so right, you know, for my psoas and all the other spots. So um, recovery is huge, We're, okay. you know. And I know this wind's pretty fresh, um, you know, we're a couple days removed from the fight. Uh, any idea when you're looking to get back in there as far as your next fight? Yeah, I know you got to deal with the toe, but uh, do you have an idea? Um, I got Pan Ams next week, the Pan American Championship. I beat Jeff. Um, that's, that's been my focus. That was actually my focus because I wasn't expecting to get this fight. But luckily, you know, we got one. But as soon as that, that fight's done, uh, I know we're scheduled for May 11th for the, for the CXF title fight. Um, but honestly, man, whatever comes, I, I feel healthy. I'm gonna write mine. I, I I feel like I've set the bar uh, where I need to like how I need to feel before I go out there and fight, man. Like before, I was like very intense. I was like I like hyping myself up. I'm about to kill this guy, and it worked for a very long time. But um, I I saw my like in the Golden Boy fight, I kind of overdid it, and I ended up throwing myself into situations where I was so blinded with rage or whatever the hell I was trying to make up. And got me caught up in situations to where I couldn't get out of it and ended up getting my ass kicked, you know. So this fight, I was just super calm, super relaxed, very, like, humbled and honored that Carlos would actually take the fight on a week's notice just like I, I would. Like, the guy's a beast, man. Nobody else was trying to take this fight. We had other, other offers. And, and honestly, like, I don't know. I'm just happy, man. No, I bet. Um, any opponent uh, for that fight in May yet, or are you still figuring that out? Um, they said, uh, you know, from the talks before the fight were uh, Alfred, um, I, I'm not really sure what his, I can't pronounce his last name, but Alfred, he fights, he's fought Sugar Sean on the Contender Series. He was their champ before. So that was the talks. I don't know if it was like trying to freak me out, but I, I, to me, that fight freaking excites the hell out of me because I know how tough that guy is. And, and those are the fights that I need to do to get back to the UFC. Um, so that's, that's the main thing. The main focus is just getting back to the big show. So Whatever comes, I just want to be calm, cool, and collected and have this supportive system that I have right now and just let's just keep going until we get that belt, you know, the UFC belt. That's what I care about. What video games you playing this week? <laughs> My dude. Um, I've been playing a lot of Destiny. Um, I've been playing a lot of Halo because Halo Outreach is coming out. I don't know if you've heard of that. but I, like, I have, uh, yeah. No, it's, it's dude, awesome. I can't wait for it. I'm going to buy the three-day VIP pass for sure. <laughs> I'm a Halo guy. Um, so I'm getting kind of hyped up. I'm getting hyped up for Halo Infinite, even though I know it's going to be a little different. So I'm playing a lot of Halo. Um, but I actually want um, I want to go back and play Red Dead Redemption and just go through it because I started it. If it was too slow during camp. I needed something more fast-paced, so I had to restart the game. So now that I have a little bit of time, I want to kind of grind it out and, and, and try to beat the, the campaign. I haven't played online. I'm not really care- I don't really care too much for online right now. But, yeah, Red Dead probably. It's great to see you back in the wind column, Albert. Again, I appreciate the time as always, man. Just remind people where they can find you on social media and if you got any sponsors or shout-outs. The floor is yours, man. Awesome. Thank you, dude. Um, Shout-out to you, obviously, for hitting me up. as all, like, you know, every fight. So it's cool, man. And it's good to have you on the wind column this time. You know what I mean? We get to talk about a win finally. Um, and, and, and your cost of support is pretty dope, man. I, I really appreciate it. Um, they can find me at Warrior135UFC all the way around Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. You can hit me up at Albert Morales. Um, any questions about fighting, any questions about anything, gaming, anything, hit me up. Uh, it might take some time, especially right now after a fight, but I will hit you up, I promise. 
Um, yeah, join Team Warrior. So shout out to Team Warrior, man. Those guys helped me out tremendously. My team's Black House, Carlson Gracie, my coaches, uh, Juan Gomez, the Brazilian Samurai, Andre Vasconcelos, Kenny Bolt Wrestling, um, Dr. Jason Park. Um, those are my team. Oh, Coach Coop, Coach Ron, Synergistic Energy, and uh, Standout Performance, Coach Ren for giving us the facility. Um, uh, sponsors, Want versus Need, definitely um, big supporter in Team Warrior. Been with me forever. Win, lose, or draw. Jiu-Jitsu, win, lose, or draw. So thank you guys for being there. The dopest gear in Jiu-Jitsu. I don't care what anybody says. Um, macro Life for helping me make this weight cut even easier, man. Protein shakes were a big, big, big thing in this camp, and they were able to help me get that in all my essential greens. So thank you to Macro Life. And uh, those are the two main sponsors for this fight. Obviously, Team Iridium, um, all, all, all my management for helping me get this shit cracking, and CXF for making that fight go down, and Carlos Puente for being a badass. So that's all I got for right now. If I missed you, I'm sorry. I'll get you on the next one.